Oh. Fuck. Fuck. I think. Fuck. Fuck. I know the right camera. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 fuck y'all. <laughs> no. All right, so what are we talking about? Because we have no schedule, no, no schedule no. So I have to. So f- fuck traffic. I just I want to uh, say, yeah, we're in Virginia yeah. get shit together. Yeah, too many cars. Yeah, too many people. There's not enough lanes. Make that shit bigger or get rid of cars. Cars are awful for the environment, anyways. You know, should be on a fucking bike. This actually leads to what I want to talk about. This actually leads, Lead. and it's completely unrelated but it actually does lead there somewhere side note side note yet again but like seriously uh i was watching a video right it was elon musk and um you know elon tesla spacex no, yeah you know the man obviously it, and shout out i have to I say i was telling this to my i was talking to you know sarah nimron and i was like talking about two of our friends just so you know yeah uh two best friends of ours uh, uh yeah and i was discussing about the fact that um uh, this interview that he had was all about his his missions on SpaceX and Tesla. And I'm thinking to myself what he has accomplished. He's accomplished getting a rocket, shooting it up there, and getting the same rocket to come back and land vertically. And land perfectly? Land perfectly. Like Have it's you a, seen the video? Like, oh, it's an Olympic athlete, but mechanical. It's <laughs> wonderful. It's a literally, it's, 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 it's fantastic to see something like that. I don't know, I didn't understand. And the way he phrased it is, I guess, to his team. He said, think of this pile of money that's just in the air. And if you saw a pile of money that that's falling down in the air, you would want to grab it back, right? Well, that was the goal, and that's what they achieved. Shit. But what the, where does where does this all leading us? I'm thinking about his accomplishments, and it's the the grandest scale. Like it is, uh, it, it's so huge. It's impacting humanity in terms of the long term, like impeding asteroids hitting the Earth. So he's building space stations. And he's building routes to Mar- or a way to get to Mars for you know the first flight. He also is making the battery for your house that's supposed to run your whole entire house off like solar. Energy. Yeah, just like so, so- it's gonna like cut back on like us getting rid of like uh, pollution and all that stuff. Fossil so. fuels and shit. I mean, I mean the man is like trying to save the Earth. Earth. And this and is my point. This is my point, Luke. I believe. He I is. believe. In all, in, in was to Bruce Wayne? No, dog, no, no, no. no. I, now Bruce Wayne is it is my boy, and I love Bruce Wayne. But this is a little bit bigger than Bruce because I'm looking at the the only person that had this agenda in all of human history. Correct me if I'm wrong, Luke. Leonardo DiCaprio. No, Jesus of Nazareth. This man that is like posted up here on my wall, dog, is literally the old. And I'm and here's the thing. This is what I believe. I don't think like we have we have Isaac Newton, we have Dr. Martin Luther King, we have Gandhi. These are people that you shouldn't like think small of. These are people that impacted humanity in a great way. In their own way. In their own way too. You this man is. Well, can't really say he's Jesus. I'm not saying that he's Jesus. Like, I'm saying this is what I'm saying. Genius. This is what I'm Jesus. saying. I'm just saying he is, and this is this is a, a, you know a, a, this is what I'm saying. He's second to Jesus. I I wouldn't even. Say, mm. I firmly believe it. I firmly believe I mean, it. It's it's much different because Jesus, if everything is real that he did, um, yeah. And by the way, being a, this, I am not a religious man. No, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Um, you know, if he did do everything he did, you know, he helped a lot of people, and you know, I mean, he he runs the world if you think about it. Because you know, what year is it? Mm. I'm talking about Elon or Jesus. Jesus, what year is it? It's probably uh, 2000. I mean, when he what, was there. What, no, what year is it right now? Oh, it's 2016. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why is it 2016? Because of Jesus, right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. He's but, a, he's that's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is the man. First of all, Jesus. If everything is real, what he said or done, he actually succeeded in his goal. And I'm not saying. I'm not saying. We're not gonna get in that bait over here. No. But I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. This is all I'm saying, Luke Haynes, Is that if it is real, dog. And that he achieved, you know, he is he had technically achieved his goal, and that's a huge plus in terms of the. But rank. you could say other other people in the tech industry have been able to do that kind of shit to save the planet, to save not, planet he's Earth. Try, he's not. I mean, he's trying to save the planet, but he's also trying to expand our. Dog, our universe I'm looking in I'm, a sense of like where we can live. Like, <coughs> oh, hey, I'm gonna take my vacation on Mars. 
Like that kind of shit. This is all right, this, let me put Mars this. Mars is not gonna work. Hold it's on. Just, it's not all right, all right. First of all, let me it's, put this. Can I put the, Can I put it in perspective for you? I, let's no say. Let's say. Let's Jesus say. Jesus was religious. Let, let's, Musk let, is like the most scientific dude ever. Let me just say this. Let me put this in perspective. He's also building the fast uh, hyperloop, right? Yeah, or he has like, a theory of it, and he actually is trying to make it happen. What is it? Three days from here to LA. <laughs> Or no, like like a day or seventy two hours. It is shit. like it's just absolutely mind boggling. But this is all. This is what I'm saying, though. And this is what's gonna happen. This is, in let me put this in perspective years. to you. If I was a slave, right? If I was a slave back in like the Civil War days, Same. right? All right. I'm and, black. Okay. Let's say you're we're both slaves, right? I'm black. And somebody I'm from right. the if somebody from the future time machine, yeah. <laughs> Time machine. All hail Caesar, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar being our dick. Sorry, dude. No. <laughs> but uh, simply, if, I, if if a man from the future came to us slaves, right, both you and I, and he gave you an option to actually see a utopia of free, like, free pe- free people, everybody's equal, equal to each other, there's no, you know, cr- you know craziness or, you know, hateful, hate in the world, or a trip to Elon Musk's Mars, you better believe... You better believe, Robert Haynes, that I am taking that ticket, that golden ticket, to Mars, to the Red Planet. You would pick Mars over a free utopian... Yes, Earth. dog, I'm going to Mars, dog! Have I am going... seen go- the Martian? Dog. Dog. Fuck that place. <laughs> Fuck that place so hard. Dog. Are you he, kidding me? Hey, I'm not Arnold saying... Arnold couldn't survive. It, I'm Arnold saying in the stipulation survive. there's a colony in Mars, no, and that's... Fuck that shit. You're not going to do it. Fuck, never. There's nothing there. It's cold as shit. The storms are a million times worse than what they are here. And it's close. And it, no, no. Mm-mm. But uh, no. you ever seen John uh, John Carter from Disney? Yeah, fuck. Awful movie. Awful. Fuck I movie. fucking love that movie. But all it's right, terrible. all right. We're an, another thing. I love that movie. I love the woman. That's really why I love yeah, the movie. Exactly. Just that fantastic makeup on her. Elon Musk is definitely doing a lot of things, which yeah. is good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, st- I still find Mars just to be like the most ridiculous. Like, what happens if he does it? What happens if he actually does it though? Like, if he does it and it works, like, great, awesome, mm-hmm. you prove me wrong. But yeah. from what I've I've seen and heard about and <coughs> read and all that kind of shit about Mars, yeah, yeah, it's a fucking wasteland. It's it's a place that may have had life millions of years ago, but guess what? It went away. Is it's that like dinosaurs? Mm-hmm. Fucking when it's extinct, science mm-hmm. took it and threw it away because mm-hmm. it didn't work. Okay. I just lost Jurassic Park, so that chaos theory shit is in my head. And right now? Oh, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, what a fantastic like, actor. You, you what a fantastic actor. And dinosaurs were here. Yeah. But God got rid of them. Yes. Like they, they are extinct. Why? You have now tried to play God. Which, Technically, we're... Granted, they're what? not dinosaurs, they're frogs. Well, now here's the but, thing. Here's my question about the Jurassic Age too. Here, so it actually were the dinosaurs are gone. Meteorite or what is it? Asteroid destroys destroys I don't even them. Know what did. But how does human human humanity survive? Monkeys. Damn. Evolution, dog. I heard. You want to hear something crazy? You ever watch that show Cosmos with uh, Neil deGrasse yeah, Tyson? That- Fantastic, phenomenal show. That show blows my mind. Phenomenal I, I show. Hang out with you, sir. Phenomenal. Um, Neil deGrasse, I love you, dog. I would yes. Hang out with him for like three hours. Talk to him. This is what I'm saying, dog. Neil deGrasse Tyson was teaching me. First of all, Michael Faraday, baller. Second, <laughs> second, second, second thing I have to mention, dog, but uh, is the fact that he had, I think, in later episodes of that show, something about how humanity may have come from the the the, the bacteria or the the mutagens of of the rocks that traveled through Mars to Earth. No, we're space dust. Amazing, right? Your and he always explodes. Yeah, it just the like first episode. I was stoned out of my ass, off my ass, just watching. Yeah, and like one, I'm stoned. Two, he talks about how if you took the universe's lifespan and put it into a calendar. Oh yeah, the twelve the twelve month calendar. Our whole entire existence is like a dot. The last second of the twenty fifth. of the He ends the show like that too. And I was just like. He ends the entire I can't series. Even think straight, like, and then he shows like what we can see of our universe, mm. and then expands it more. And then he goes, "People also theorize that our universe is just a bubble in a stream of other bubbles." And I'm like, "What? what? You have we're to a be... fucking computer, dude. Oh, like, we're in the Matrix. Oh, I only I we're there. Uh, I'm we're in control. Well, not control, but but watching. you think Fifth Dimension like Interstellar? And the movie is phenomenal, but." It is, there's a little bit of that fiction. That, that there's a little bit of that fiction. That, 
That Neil was. A, I have to just, say the most the most uh, uh, the most the biggest thing I have to say with uh, about Inner Solo though with that scene with Matt Damon. Oh no, no, was it Matthew Matt McConaughey on Matthew McConaughey actually kind of getting the spaceship back in order by like flying it when it's broken and then trying to get it back after mm-hmm. Matt Damon betrays him. Amazing spoiler, yo. Fuck Matt Damon. Dude. Fuck a Matt Damon dog. And then he plays the Martian and he's fucking terrific. Yeah, dog. I mean, movie that's was good. movie was good. Movie was fine. I did. I would. Book, I like the book more. Oh, yeah, I believe the book that is, is amazing. See, you're. You see, that's another thing that I like. I love about you and me. We have a. We have a like a point where we're actually. We do this together. We know this subject together. But we there are things that like you read. I absolutely read. I read comics, but I don't read and manga. And manga, and I absolutely don't read just words. Oh, see, I love, I love to do my own shit. You, so that's, that's the thing with Game of Thrones is like, Game they've of definitely Game. like n- knocked it out of the park with most of the characters in my head. How I saw them. Who's alive in Game of Thrones, by the way? Everybody. That's a damn lie. That's a goddamn <laughs> lie. Spoiler. No. Um, but it's just, I can see how well like they've done with casting people. Yeah. But if I read the books, I still have my own thing. Same with Harry Potter. Like Harry Potter, love the movies, but I still have my own way of. Seeing, seeing people, like po- Voldemort, I do not see as Ralph Fiennes. Face, he yeah, does. No. He does not look like a dick in my mind. Yeah, it was a poor attempt. It was a poor attempt. I mean, he played the park. Track. Ralph Fiennes is fantastic. I never, He's never a, criticized Ralph Fiennes. Oh, dog, oh. <laughs> <laughs> dog. Ralph Fiennes in uh, and what was it? Uh, Schindler's List. Yes. I almost rooted for him, and he was a Nazi. Yeah. I almost rooted for him. I was scared about him. My goddamn Grand Budapest. You ever watch that? No, I hear that's really good though. That's something you bring. You I should also bring watched Indiana Jones and uh, Last Crusade last night. Last Crusade? Mm-hmm. Was he in there? No. Oh, that's just in. a phenomenal movie, and yeah. we were talking about Nazis. Oh yeah, that's true. And he gets his and, Holy Grail diary signed by Hitler in that movie. That is kind of. I dope. completely forgot that that happened. That's kind of. I was dope. like, I would have just shot him and been like, "Worth it." Oh, I would have saved the world from that. Yeah, exactly. In that position, but I would have to say, on top of that, um. Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's a terrific movie. I would have to say that Last Crusade's my favorite. That's absolutely just because I, it, Temple of Doom. Is it can be your favorite, Luke, but it ain't. It ain't the top. Oh, to me it is. <laughs> That's fine. It's, it's That's more, fine. It's, like, uh, it's an opinion, son. Like, it ain't factual. <laughs> it just. <laughs> it ain't factual. Yeah, yeah, just like it's not. Jesus. God. Uh, absolutely. Dog. I tell me another person, dog. Tell me <laughs> that not, has reached that. Your opinion. I, I'm just saying. He yeah. hasn't made it yet. Hmm. I'll say, I'll tell you if he gets to Mars, he's not Jesus Christ, but he's pretty damn close. <laughs> he's pretty damn close. And my God, give an opinion. <laughs> yeah. Um, where the fuck were we just talking? About? Oh, we were talking about um, we just yeah, digressing oh, like Indiana mother. Jones. Indiana Jones. No, I love The Last Crusade more because Sean Connery is terrific as his father. Yes, he is. And it has so many amazing one-liners. Yes, it is. And it has no one ticket. It, like that's like one of the best lines ever. And the way that Indiana Jones fights, he fights so unrealistic. Not like he, Christian Bale in the Dark Knight with un- elbows. No, he, that's all real. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Just like <laughs> just uh, destroyed. Just like that. Just exactly. like that. My fault, yo. <laughs> Indiana Jones, like Harrison Ford, like cocks his arm all the way back mm-hmm. and throws these like haymakers. And yeah. It's like you're not supposed to even like cock all the way back. You're supposed yeah. to like stay here. But he just. Dramatic. Yeah. Like, Ooh, no, I'm, I'm he's classic. He's classic. Oh, he's amazing. But it, I'd have to say Raiders wins in terms of like fights because of the one shot. I think. I think. The, he, do you know why he shot the guy? In that oh one yeah, scene? he was sick. He had like he had uh, flu. he had a flu. Yeah, he had the flu. And yeah, he, he was supposed to like fight him with the sword. He said, "Hell no." Like and shot him. That's how you know you have a great actor. No, he's an, I oh question. Yeah, this is a good one. Indiana Jones or Han Solo? Woo, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I think Indy. That is, I would, I would have to agree with you on this. And the only reason why I feel more, I feel a more personal link with Indiana because of the struggles he has to go through in terms of like the trials, like Last Crusades, uh, Leap oh, of he Faith. Has to, he has to do everything in that movie, though. As, oh like, yeah. I forgot how many different times he like is almost dead. Yeah. Like the tank scene. Yep. yep. Uh, fucking fighting that old Nazi bitch. Um. Oh my going god! Going through the like cavern where the like pet petroleum is coming up, and yeah. he has to find the shield. And, That's right. Yeah. Like, he does everything in that movie, and then he finds a grail. He fucking finds a grail. The holy grail. Finds it. 
again Jesus. Yeah. But on top on top of the, the, the top of that is I think his the why I love Indiana Jones a little bit more is just the fact that it it, it you're you're he takes you in a journey more than I think Han Solo does because he, Han Solo is a side character. I'm sorry, he is a no, side character, a side. and that's fine. And he it's just because you love Harrison, that's why you love Han. But you're I mean, gonna don't get me wrong, I love Han. Love Han. I l- love Indiana. Like, Indiana yeah. Jones is just a, a better character, in my opinion. Absolutely. No, that's because he's I'm more sure fleshed out. people who hear this are interested to be... It's a shame that Shia LaBeouf is his son. It is a shame. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a shame. That movie was... I saw that in the movie theater with my dad. I think that was the first movie me and my dad have ever seen in the movie theater together. And we tragic. just looked at each other. Shakespeare and Tragic. At the, beginning, at the beginning, though, we were all excited, because the beginning was, like, so far-fetched, it was, like, Indiana Jones. Yeah. Like, he survives <laughs> a nuke blast mm. in a fucking fridge. I'm like, okay, only Indy would be able to do that. Oh, yeah. But then the swinging from the vines and Shia. The the and I'm just the like, the, Get the, this the, the the bitch out of here. Dude. That was the 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 car chasing in the jungles with Kate Blanchett. The, yeah, no, it was, it was just a terrible is, movie. It is a terrible movie, and Kate Blanchett's like accent with like a Russian awful. awful. It's, awful. it's, it's too campy. It's awful. Oh, she's amazing. Like, she is. She, amazing she's amazing actor. She's a queen of England, like, in my opinion. She's still the queen of England. Yeah. And Helen Mirren. Fuck. And I would. And they're making a fifth one. How's it possible? With Shia? No, with Harrison. Harrison can't do this. Oh, he he's on. I'll tell you what, Harrison will do it for money. If but I oh he made the most out of any Star Wars person this past. Oh, the, the one with Episode Wars Seven, right? Oh yeah, he, he was sixty lost. million. Sixty million? Something ridiculous. I saw him at Santa Monica last year, just walking. I was just like, oh my god. That has to be. I didn't want to say anything. He is. He it, absolutely it, is a national treasure. He actually. If is. I went up to him and he was just like, "Fuck off, kid," I'd be like, "Oh, my childhood is ruined." So I just was like, "There he is. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm up." I'm telling you right now, Harrison Ford told me to do anything, I would do it. Yeah, I'd be like, yep, I'll go fuck myself. Yeah, right. you want me to just fuck? I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Um, but I would say Harris. Now here's a better question. We're talking about actors. We're talking about their the great feats here. I'm thinking Harrison Ford is one big one, and I'm gonna exclude him from this. But how about Dwayne the Rock Johnson? No. You cannot put him in the same fucking category. I want to say pedestal. I want to put him in the same no pedestal. No fucking way, ever. No, no, but he does have... The Rock plays action movies and does not, like, act. He, he is flexes. He is entertaining, though. He's entertaining. He's the most entertaining man in the world. He's The Rock. Rock. He is The Rock. And that is... He's amazing in WWE. WWE. He's amazing in The Rundown. He's amazing, amazing in, in uh, Furious. Fast uh, and Furious. Uh, he's also amazing in what other movie Walking that... Walking Tall. Walking Tall with Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. That was it. Like, he's, he's, he's a good actor. He's amazing for action movies. Mm-hmm. Nowhere near Harrison Ford. But no, I, I, no, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't. I. 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 I, 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 I understand that. But Harrison Ford has The Fugitive, Woo! one of the all-time greatest movies ever. He has Witness, an incredible movie. Yes. He has all of those Tom Clancy movies. I still have not watched. I still don't know. I. I don't even. I couldn't remember if, where I left off. It's like clear and present day. Yeah, and he's but, he's, I mean, he's the American president. But one then of those, he's right? in like What Lies Beneath. Air, Air Force One. Yeah, exactly. Air Force. Exactly. Air Force One. one. Air Force One. Gary Oldman was phenomenal as a Russian. Amazing, actually, for him. Oh, he's he's amazing. Gary he Oldman, amazing he's actor. actor. He team. could be on the same pedestal. Close. Gordon. <laughs> now we get into the heart. Now we get into the heart. Gordon. Now he we get. Into, Gordon. He. I, I can't see anybody else. No. I can't Gordon. see. He's. He is. He is Gordon. Not that fat piece of shit that we saw. In all the Keaton and or what was it? It's not the Keaton. We can't movie. talk about those movies. I've tried watching Batman. Mm-hmm. It's not good. I, I know a lot of people will be pissed off of me because it's like the original. Yeah. It's fucking does, uh, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, but you, here, yeah, 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 I will say as a this. Kid, I know I enjoy it. As I, I think it was the only time that that perspective was actually shown to be a little bit darker than what it was oh, before, gosh. because uh, because of Jack Nicholson. Well, it was also because of Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson I mean, made that. Yeah, he made that. He made that the darker film. He I made think. it the Joker. Uh, and Michael and Keaton. Keith Ledger. Just this actually brings a whole new topic here, though. The best Bruce Wayne. In terms of actor, in Adam terms West. Of no, I'm just fucking. Oh no, no, <laughs> Adam West, 1966, Adam West. Okay, and the twist now it's un- I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna have to say this because it's completely unfair. We have to get rid of Con- Kevin Conroy in this because Kevin Conroy oh, is the best actor. He is he is best actor. actor. But in terms of like movie actor, movie actor, live action, I would have to say Ben Affleck. Yes. He 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 won me yes. over with his performance yes. in Batman vs Superman. Now, I, if I had a, if he was not like present, if we were doing this like last year, yeah, I'd have to say Christian Bale. I would have to say because George Clooney is terrible. 
I would have to say Michael. Val Kilmer is awful. Awful? I did not like that movie. I think he was okay. It was mm, not bad. I would have picked George Clooney all of it over him. Nah, I could see that. Even I could he see had that. The nipples in his suit, which I still don't fucking understand. Hey, Alicia. You saw Sil- that I saw Alicia Silverstone's plastic book. Ooh. That was fine. Prime Ooh. time. Don't think I forgot about her. Um, Clueless. And then who, who was the guy who played Robin? <laughs> who? Oh, uh, oh, that guy from Chris NCIS. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> With that little no, movie. he's on a CSI. No. Is it NCIS? Yeah, NCIS uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. That's something in Hawaii Five O, dog. Hawaii Five O. Fantastic show. With uh, James Conn's son. Oh, yeah, dog. <laughs> Scott, Scott Conn? Oh, I love him, dog. I love him. One of the greatest lines from that show was, was like, a, 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 like a, um, a suspect in, like, the hostage room or whatever. They bring him in the, the, the room, and the, and the cop from Hawaii Five-0, the main guy, McGarrett, he goes, like, listen, lady, the only person I listen to is God and my mother. That is it. <laughs> and that was amazing. But on the, on, on the back on the topic, though. Take a side note. The side note from... The side note. The uh, I, the only thing I would say is, oh, what were we talking about? <laughs> the only thing, oh, best Oh, the best, the best Oh, yeah, best Fuck. I, I would, was like, where the fuck did it go? Yeah. Don't do drugs, yeah. <laughs> um, um, I would say for me, in live action. I would say I prefer Michael Keaton's because of the way, though the only only because of the way he changed his voice from Bruce. Bruce to Batman. Where it was the same fucking voice. It's better than and yeah, fucking Christian Bale's just... I don't know, I'm it. sorry. I loved it. Hmm? Where is she? Like, it was just intimidating. That's what he was. He was an intimidating force. Come on now. And I'm sorry. He beat the shit <coughs> out of everybody. The only thing I did not like is that he just can't kill people. I hate it. I'll tell you what. Because in Batman for Superman... <laughs> That oh, has, I'll tell you right now. The best part of that movie. No, I know the best part oh, of that movie was the warehouse. I swear to God, I, I told, I told okay, it. I liked the warehouse. Oh wait, no, when he goes in and fights all the dudes. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I thought you meant the part where he fought Superman. No, like, no, that, no. Part, that, that part was fine. It was okay. It was but fine. I felt like it was so right. slow. Yeah, because I, he I, he like hit him and then he'd drag him for twelve minutes. Yeah, and then be like. You're not a man. You're not even a man. Blah blah blah. I I'm literally, like, my dick was it. hard when I heard it. Oh, when yeah. I heard when he says, "When you're not a man, you're well, not even no. a oh, no. You're not a you're not a god. You're, you're not, not even, even a man." man. And I was you like, lost I it. literally was applauding Ben Affleck in every possible sense. He's, and he's doing his own Batman movie, and he's only person, it. only person I know, and he is one of the rarest people to do this. Oh, he's incredible. Uh, to write, direct, direct produce. His own film and even uh, funded, I think. No, I'm not even too sure about that. But like a good example, The Town. Uh, the Town is one of the best movies ever. It is really one of the best yeah, movies Argo. ever. Argo. Argo is actually arguably even better. Actually, yeah, it's actually arguably. Uh, and then, and what was the uh, not Gone Girl, but Gone Baby Gone with his brother Casey Affleck? Yeah. That one's supposedly really good too. And if you look at it, like from Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb ratings. It's like 80, 90% across the board. The man's right. And I love the fact that he... Paycheck, by the way, Uma, with Uma Thurman. Fantastic film. Oh, well, he's done some awful movies. He did Daredevil. He did uh, Gila. He did... Oh, you forgot about that. That movie's terrible. Buried. Uh, Forces of Nature. Mm-hmm. But he's like a kind fucking dude. Like super nice guy. He was at your fucking... High gradu- school graduation. High- Batman was at your high school graduation. As God intended, dog. As Batman God speech. intended. Bruce fucking Wayne. Absolutely, dog. And um, he, he... The reason why he's the best Bruce Wayne, in, in my opinion, is because of the fact the way he plays... He does a better thing that, than any of them do in terms of the transition between Bruce and Batman. And it's it feels like it's straight from the comics if you actually read from oh, the yeah. comics. It feels like he's... Like where I left him off in the comics, and I just fucking love the, the the. Then I what I love about it is is more of his <coughs> Batman because he simply does not give a fuck. No. He simply wants he's, to end it. He's just he's so good at that role, but he's great at like everything. Like he he was great in Dogma. Mm-hmm. He was great in Clerk or not Clerks too. Mm-hmm. He had like one line, but he's like. So, uh, uh, what was he in Jane Silent Bob? He wasn't Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious. Like, he's done, like, all these stupid fucking movies, yeah. but he doesn't because he just wants to have fun. Hmm. Like, one of his first movies was uh, Mallrats. He plays, like, the douchey... Like, no, boy, jo- like, oh, Days and Confused, too, believe it or not. He was the jock, I think. Yes, he was. He was the jock. With Matthew McConaughey, Matthew which was... McConaughey. It's it's funny to see all those actors... Matthew together. McConaughey was not good for a while, and then no. he took a break. After, I tell you, after Sahara, he took a break. 
Oh yeah. Came back with a vengeance. He's came back and he's making a fuck ton of money on Lincoln commercials. Oh, what was the show that he was on HBO? The Oh, uh, True Detective. True Detective. If you have not seen that show, you must watch the first season. That's Second it. Second season's terrible. Yeah. First mm-hmm. season is perfection. I, it is. It, have you seen it? No, I've seen... Oh, I've seen the first three episodes oh, of no, it. you have to finish. I need you to finish. It's only three more episodes. Best combination. I'm sad to hear about Colin, Colin Farrell and uh, Vince, Vince Vaughn. Vaughn. And I really Rachel am. Damn. That She's was... so fucking sexy, but like... I would, I would hammer it. too dark and too shitty, and the story just never went where you wanted to go. Yeah. And the ending just sucked. Oh and, like, apparently God. the writer, we... like, took too much criticism from people Yeah. and used the criticism, yeah. which he shouldn't have. He should have been like, fuck you. I just made one of the best shows ever. Yeah. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> and they're giving him a third chance, like he has one more season. Oh, the creator? So I'm hoping he goes back to the way he fucking wrote. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, the thing... Like the Leftovers. The le- exactly. Wonderful. Anyway, if we're going to get into the wonderful. HBO shows outside of Game of Thrones, Leftovers is really good, The Wire is really good, Veep is funny. Um, Veep is hilarious. Yeah, I love that. I love, um, what's her assistant's name that always is a be- obedient? I forget. I don't Gary. Know yeah. Gary. Fantastic. But, yeah, like, in terms of a True Detective, I I was, the first couple episodes sold me. First episode really sold me, just because of that ass that you saw from uh, Woody Harrelson's uh, oh. affair. Fantastic ass. She is phenomenal. Fantastic ass. It was fantastic. It was perfect I, I was, and I was absolutely... You later, just so you Oh, know. prime. It's prime. Really the motivation that I needed right now to actually get back in my You're show. You're welcome. Thank you. But I actually, I actually really think that, um, uh, you know... <laughs> What were you talking about? <laughs> what were you talking about? No, no, it's well, I just, now I, all I see is that ass. Now all I see is that round, rotund, Caucasian ass. I'm really... Do- oh, damn. You need to take over the show, this dog. This is what happens. I can't get up, we're dog. about uh, True Detective. True Detective? And then I said ass, and then you're like... Oh Ben Affleck, yeah Ben Affleck. That's what we're talking about. We 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 digress. We are just everywhere. It yeah, doesn't matter. Ben yeah Ben Affleck, fantastic actor, and you know what? He is, I think, the modern Harrison. I think, in my opinion, or in that pedal, I mean, in that caliber of an actor that's I think he's higher getting... than most people because he not I think only even... acts and does phenomenal. Mm-hmm. He produces, he writes, and he directs. Very rare. In the in the the uh, his brother, I like to call him his brother, Matt Damon. He is a really great actor. He is a fantastic actor. On top of the biggest thing, I think, was the Bourne trilogy. I actually yeah, think... there's a new one coming out, dog. And it looks even better. It looks amazing. The, I, I truly think, and this is from the bottom of my heart, that the Bourne trilogy is the best trilogy ever. I'll say it. I'm saying it over Dark Knight, dog. I'm saying it over Dark wow. Knight trilogy. I'll say it. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because it is, is... is a very consistent chapter by chapter story whereas the dark knight let me tell you you're watching batman begin that is that is a bigger bigger thing a, you have said mm-hmm. than what i said about the game of thrones theme song i hope you realize that. i understand i understand like, there are many trilogies yes and a lot of them shitty lord of the rings star shit Wars. compared to born trilogy wow the reason why dog lord is, the rings is too long but That's right. Tell me that you really didn't need songs. to. You didn't need to watch the two towers. You didn't need to watch the two towers, and you didn't even need to watch the Matrix two and three, right? Oh no, I've already said Matrix two and three were awful. Yes. Is but again, what was the percentage one. of Neo of Keanu Reeves in that film in two and three? Like actual live action Keanu Reeves? Oh, it's twenty percent. Probably. <laughs> he's. Th- That's another phenomenal actor. Keanu Reeves. Reeves. I'll tell you why because he's my brother he's said it best. Wick. Oh yeah. He's more than anything, though. He, 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 my brother said it best. He knows how to pick his roles. Oh, perfect. Even if it's like an indie film, perfect. He's he also a role. is the most down to earth person. He, like, lives in an apartment. Dog, the lake house with uh, Sandra Bullock, the romantic uh, comedy, loved it. Loved both of them, but I loved him more. That's awesome. <laughs> Speed? Dog. <laughs> Speed is it's just, so it is the Keanu film. It is. That and Point Break. That's true, and I and now I didn't watch Point Break. Oh. And no, 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 I didn't watch Point Break uh, until last year. Yeah, I, watch, think I told you to. You told me to. I rented the film from iTunes. And best, it's best. I think it was the best uh, two hours I've ever spent yeah. uh, that week. <laughs> Him and Patrick Swayze just going at it. Patrick Swayze on top of a dog. Good actor. And a great loss. Yeah. Dirty Dancing, everybody, Ghost. Everybody dies. I yeah, had a hard on when I watched Ghost though. Obviously, Patrick Swayze. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to stay confident on what I said, dog. Uh, I thought you were going to say Whoopi Goldberg. No, dog, when Patrick, <laughs> when Patrick Swayze is on that clay with the meat, dog, he was holding my Whoopi dick. Goldberg. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg, dog. No, Whoopi? Whoopi can she go. Told me, she, she told me she loved me Whoopi, last year at Comic Con. That was. She walked right by me. In New York Comic Con. I was like, I love you. She's like, I love you too. I was like, Damn. That's that's in my life. That was Comic Con. Yeah. That was. That was. Comic Con, on a different. On a, on a side note, the. The. Uh, one of the, the one of the strangest thing yet one of the most alluring things that I got in New York Comic Con last year was the hentai section, dog. I couldn't. I was there and I didn't want to be there. That and the reason why was I was there because obviously I was there just to see some anime tits. But I'm looking. But but I'm but I'm think. But like I'm, I didn't know what the fuck that was. Oh, dog! You have to search. You have to search. I don't and, want and, to. and this uh, that's the thing. You didn't want to. But I did. Yeah, and that's how we all split off. That's yeah, and when we split off, obviously I was on my own mission, and I'm thinking to myself, was it in aisle sixty nine? Oh, it's all the way back, all the way back, all the way back, to, in the ass of the show. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking at, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, the the whole thing, and I'm realizing, dog, that I'm not the only one here. There's actually other people here wanting to do what I'm doing. Exactly, that's and and that shit. didn't that didn't actually. Connect, connect my head until I actually in and until I like... physically saw other men and oddly <laughs> enough one or two women. You should have gotten their numbers. Oh uh, well, these were not the right oh, ones. No, these were not the right ones mm-hmm. to get numbers. Even though I would, I just no. couldn't. You know, for the, for, you. for the long term. Good for you. I'm actually proud of what I do when I do those kinds of things. When I think about myself in the future, future test actually is loving <laughs> me right now. But like, if it was not, if I wasn't even thinking about it, I would have just grabbed grabbed numbers. Uh, I, 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 by, I, dig, I digress. I go and I'm realizing that these men are here. Glasses, book bags, asking about when the, what the film was made, the duration of the film. And I'm thinking to myself, holy shit, this is not the right place that I need to be in my life. <laughs> and that was an awakening moment. It's not that I don't appreciate hentai anymore. You just, just really, you don't want to do it. At a it is a private thing. Yeah. It is a private Obviously. thing. Obviously, it is a private thing. It's like going to a porn shop. It's awkward as shit. It really is because I you when think I was eighteen. I was like, why are there other people here? Exactly. This is this to... is my time. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. You're, when you when you when you, your experience with this kind of stuff, pornography, hentai, whatever it is, it's your room. Exactly. You know, it's not you. You don't. That's it's it's weird enough. Like you can actually, like a better word, jack off. And then just like, hey mom, can I get that Ethiopian tea? No, nah, dog. That's that's just a little too awkward for me, dog. I need to actually take a shower, you know, uh, calm down for a minute, and just you know maybe pl- maybe get that Ethiopian exactly. tea. But yeah, I digress again. It is not you know. What are we talking about, brother? <laughs> With that, <laughs> yeah, that's today's uh, podcast it's yeah that's today's it podcast wonderful. it was fantastic I appreciate it we'll be back next week uh, with something <laughs> yeah something but, even better yeah hopefully love you all I love you all too this is SC no this is cookies and cream, cookies under, and the, cream. under the SCC house yeah hopefully peace, peace. love you all